the attention of the whole arm wrestling world seems to be concentrated on these two giants of the sport. Only five days out from East versus West Seven, Devon and Gennady met each other on the table for what seemed to me like a mini rules discussion meeting. Engin warned Gennady for not false starting during the match. Engin also warned Devon for not dipping his shoulder below the table in his king's move in a neutral or a losing position. I think both of these things are going to happen during the match because I'm not sure about Gennady's false start because I haven't paid much attention to that. If Gennady does that often or not, I'm not sure. But Devon is for sure going to go below the table if Gennady is strong enough to force Devon into that position. Because let's be honest, it's well within the rules. Well, technically not within the rules, but Devon is well within his rights to use the rules to his advantage to use the rules to the best of his abilities to tire Gennady out and win the match if that is what is needed to gas Gennady out and win it. To me, if you are getting overpowered by your opponent, if it takes going below the table, even having one or two fouls to tire his hand out and beat him, then that's what I'm going to do. That's a perfect strategy in my opinion. And all slips go to straps. There is no such thing as a slip in a losing position at East versus West. Engin specifically mentioned this to Gennady that this is not a new rule. I think it has been in existence since about East versus West 3, I would say. So Engin wanted to make sure that Gennady doesn't think or doesn't imagine that he's being treated unfairly and this rule is suddenly implemented to favor Devon because that is clearly not the case. Devon said just like their practice left-handed setup, even during match day, everything will go smoothly, everything will be easy and a quick setup on that day. I think it cannot be far from truth because both of them are not afraid to express their opinions, express their thoughts during the match to their athletes and also to the referee. So good luck to these two and good luck to the referee as well. It is going to be chaos that day and that will be entertaining to watch. And during their quick left-handed setup, Gennady was pulling backwards in a kind of a posting style top roll. I know it's left, it is only a demonstration, but I think this is going to be Gennady's strategy on the right arm as well. Because at this point, almost everyone knows that it is kind of impossible to hook Devon Laird. So the only way is to go backwards, try to climb over his hand, which is going to be really difficult for Gennady because of his baby hands. Well, we'll talk about his baby hands in a minute from now. So the only option is to top roll him, go backwards and try to finish him with a press. And Gennady knows that that's what he's going to try to do on match day. And then they compared their hands. The biggest topic of discussion in the build up for this match was Devon's thumb and Gennady's baby hands. So they actually measured their hands. It clearly looks like that Devon's hand is longer than Gennady's hand. But what I was more surprised to see is that Gennady's elbow to fingertip length is about the same as Devon Laird. That's really, really crazy because Devon is about four inches taller than Gennady. His wingspan is like crazy. He has long hands, but the elbow to fingertip length was almost similar. I remember when Devon measured this same measurement with Travis Bajent, who is like 6'3". Devon's hand was like three inches longer than Travis, but not the case against Gennady. Maybe Gennady's thick elbow is helping him in this measurement, but still that is impressive. Disappointed to find out Gennady Quickvinia does not have baby hands. I have been deceived. And what did Devon do after being deceived? He deceives the entire world about that thing. Simple, plain mastermind. We can see in this photo that Devon's arm is leaning towards the left and Gennady's arm is straight upright. So I would say Devon's arm is slightly longer and keep in mind that this is Devon's left arm, not his right. He has shown and proved in his video that his right arm is longer than his left. But Gennady's forearm from his elbow to his wrist joint, that may in fact be longer than Devon Laird and that can be really helpful in some places, in some positions on the arm wrestling table where I think Gennady may not be able to go in this match. Thanks for watching. East vs West 7 is 5 days away. Pay-per-view link in the description. Like the video and subscribe to the channel. I'll see you again.